Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to secure uh, that ET tube in the newborn, starting right now. Hi everyone, so we're talking about how to secure that ET tube in the newborn. Now, there's about a hundred different ways to secure an ET tube out there, and every NICU team has their own way of doing it. I've flown NICU teams, and they are real particular about how they secure that ET tube in a newborn. And you could just, they're, they're not even going to let you, I'll go over to, hey, can I see how you, and you just back off. You just back off immediately. Now, these centimeter markings on the side of the ET tube, uh, we're going to use those to measure where our tube winds up, and then we're going to document that uh, to make sure the tube doesn't migrate around. So there's three methods they, they demonstrate here. Um, one is using the gestational weeks and age. And this is a chart, you can pop it up, have it in your OB kit. But if you look at this chart, and you can Compared to the ET tube sizes we would be using for those gestational ages, it's almost the standard three times the ET tube size. So if you were to pull out, say, a 3.0 ET tube, 3.69, you're going to be somewhere around nine at the teeth. That's another method, or at the top lip, rather. Another method is you can measure from the middle septum here, the nasal septum, and then come around here to the tragus of the ear and then add one centimeter, and that's about where you should be with your markings also. So a quick three methods for doing that. Again, make sure you have equal lung sounds and every, all the other parameters look good. You're where you're supposed to be. So first, secure the tube to the patient, then secure the patient's head from moving. You're going to reassess that tube placement anytime we move the patient, anytime the patient moves. Hey, that guy looked at the patient funny. Check the tube. So with any movement, we're constantly reassessing that tube because it does not take much to extubate a newborn. Now, when it comes to securing the airway, always follow your local protocols, uh, but this is just one method you can use to help secure that ET tube. My name is Mark. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.